Hi, I'm your host, Marsha Florence for Just Dance. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is a light and easy cooking show. Hurry back and join us. I'm your host, Marsha Florence with Just Dance. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a light and easy cooking show, and we asked a prospective guest to come back and join us, Stephanie Vella, registered dietitian with Solar Life and Fitness Center. Hey, Stephanie. Hello. Glad to see you again. Thank you for having me back. <laughs> good, good, good. Now, we got a few comments and emails that we didn't do enough for people to understand what they should be eating properly. So we asked you to come back to give us a cooking demonstration so people can get started. That sounds great. Okay. What we're going to be doing here today is a wild halibut with a coconut curry sauce. We're going to be wow. doing some whole grain brown rice, which we mentioned in our last session together, and then some steamed spinach as well. That sounds good. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So we'll get started right away with our rice. That's the first thing we're going to get cooking. Today we are using a parboiled brown rice. Parboiled, okay. And the reason we're doing parboiled is because it's going to cook a lot faster. Okay. It's going to cook in just about 15 minutes or so. So I added my rice to the water. The water is already a little bit warm here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn up the temperature so that we can get it to a boil. Okay. Once it boils, we're going to turn down that temperature. Let it simmer until all the water now is, is gone. Now, parboiled rice, I mean, what's the difference between rice and parboiled rice? Parboiled rice, basically, they process it so that it is a little scratched mm -hmm. and the water is more easily absorbed. So it okay. cooks quicker. Cook the nutritional value is the same. Okay. And they have the same amount of fiber, same calories, same protein. Okay. You do want to remember to do the brown, brown rice, rice, not the white rice. I'm learning. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, there goes my so rice we'll and butter that. trick. All yeah. right. <laughs> well, you can do the brown rice okay. with it. <laughs> okay. And then what we have here, we're going to start cutting up our shallots. Mm. We're using a couple different veggies today. Shallots are in the onion family, okay. so they're going to have those same heart healthy benefits as onions. And we're just going to slice off the end and then slice them nice and thin here. Now, if you're like me and you start to tear up a little bit when you cook anything in the onion family or cut anything in the onion family is my bigger problem, this is a great time to use something like a pre-frozen chopped onion. Mm -hmm. You I'm can get ask you onions pre-chopped as well. Some of our viewers are unable to chop, you know, chop and dice. So would it be helpful if they can go to the market and find the vegetables already pre-chopped? Absolutely. Okay. You, can, you can find those in the fresh produce section. If you can't find them there, doing frozen is your next best option. Okay. So what we're adding to our pan here is some olive oil. All and right. we're going to cook our shallots in it. You always want to be careful when you are doing some shallots in the hot oil because they're going to do a little bit of some spiking mm -hmm. here. <laughs> okay. And we're just going to saute those a little bit. That's sauteing, all right. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me turn down our stove top a little bit. You want to do this over a medium to low heat. Yeah, now, do you need my help in anything besides the fire extinguisher? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, do you need my help in anything? I mean, people know Marsha can cook. Ladies and gentlemen, one day, one day soon, I'll tell you what, the first time someone asked me to cook, then now I will do a show with just me as the cook. How is that, all right? Other than that, I think my viewers don't think I can cook, but I think can throw. All right, and it will be light and easy, and it will be something delectable from my kitchen, all right? All right, so when you're sauteing onions, you got the rice boiling, you got yep. your shallots. shallots. Yep, okay. you're just going to do them until they turn about brown here. Okay, it smells pretty good. And then we're going to add, we have low sodium chicken broth we're going to add. Okay. No as well problem. as some coconut milk. You want to be yeah. cautious when you're adding the hot liquid to your, or your cold liquid to your hot pan. It is going to make a whole bunch of noise. You don't want to get your face in there, so just do it nice and slowly. Wow, I didn't move. 
Okay. <laughs> How about that for visual uh, effect? Yeah, that was a visual <laughs> effect right there. Okay. So our low sodium broth, you do want to look for that on the front of the container. You should usually say low sodium. If low not, sodium. flip okay. it over and look at that nutrition label. Okay. And then we're adding here some unsweetened coconut milk. Unsweetened coconut milk. Yep, this is something you can find in your grocery store. Coconut milk is dairy free, so anybody who's lactose intolerant, this is a great option for you. Oh, it's going to have some of those healthy fats in it as well. All right. Well, you know, it's, it smells good. I mean, it's not much there, but it smells pretty good here. Those know. shallots are okay, nice, okay, huh? Okay, you know? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I always invite you all to come and see us, and we like to thank Beaumont uh, for allowing us to be in their facility, which is Sola Fitness and Health Center, okay, which is one of the Beaumont. Uh, how do you put, put this together? Because I know Beaumont and Sola are yes, the same. Yes, so Sola Life and Fitness is Sola Beaumont's medically based health and wellness center. Okay. We are part of the Beaumont Health System. Okay, okay. But yes, yeah, so we're a little bit different than other health facilities in that we have both the fitness side, so mm -hmm. we have our fitness facility, personal trainers, but we also have the nutrition side. So we have dietitians such as myself. We do things like cooking classes, okay. um, nutrition education classes, one-on-one -on -one nutrition counseling. Okay. So she won't, you know, be the, uh, the first time and the last time in our kitchen or <laughs> their kitchen. Uh, she'll be back to join us again. All right. So what do we have going on? Because I'm, I'm telling you, just from the onion smell and the broth. <laughs> it's, it's so what we're going to do next is put in three teaspoons of curry powder. Curry. Curry is something that is great for anybody with arthritis, anybody who has joint pain, has mm -hmm. anti-inflammatory properties. Okay. So that we're going to add here. It is a great seasoning that you can do without any extra salt. Curry, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. We're going to do different. that and then a little bit of fresh ground pepper. Pepper. Yep. And now notice there's no salt on that, so we got that. Yep, no salt. You're going to okay. have a little bit of sodium from your chicken broth, but no added salt in here. That's what we're going for, so it's okay. heart healthy. Okay. I'm just going to cover this right up here. We're going to let our sauce simmer a little bit. All right. And we'll check here on our rice. And I tell you what, while we're checking on the rice and letting the sauce simmer, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. She'll be somewhere else when that time. <laughs> we'll be back. If a natural disaster happened and we were outside the home, we would probably all meet, I'll say, around the grocery store, you know. We would all meet at a bus stop. That is our meeting place. Well, we would probably just meet out in front of the house. Oh, we'd probably meet at our neighbor's house. If you have no plan, then you can just plan what to do as it happens. And welcome back to the show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a light and easy cooking show today. And we have Stephanie Vellon with us. Uh, she's a registered dietitian for Solar Life and Fitness Center. And I tell you what, it is smelling good in here, okay? <laughs> so Stephanie, we left off with the parboiled rice. Yeah. Okay, and then we have a mixture of the, let me see if I can remember this, <laughs> the shallots. Yeah. Okay, so you saute the shallots. Yeah. And you have some coconut milk. Yeah. Um, non-dairy, non-sugar coconut milk. Yep. Uh, low sodium. Is chicken that chicken broth? broth? Yep, chicken it is. Broth, uh, a dash of pepper and curry powder and is is giving it our beautiful color there. Okay. So that sauce we're just gonna let simmer a little bit here. We did okay. check our rice; it was starting to boil, so we turned it down a little bit. So okay. you want to do simmer the rice until all this water is evaporated. So you can see, see there's still quite a bit of water in there. Okay. So we're going to let that cook some more. All right. What we're going to do next is get started with our fish. Okay. So we have here four steaks, um, halibut steaks. And this is a great recipe that you could do any type of fish you liked if you don't like the halibut. A lot of complaints I get with trying to get people to eat more fish is that it has a fishy flavor, mm -hmm. fishy mm -hmm. smell. So a little trick is to bring it over to the sink and you're going to want to just rinse it under cold water and that's okay. going to get rid of some of your fishy smell. Because you know I didn't smell anything and I was like oh is that fish? I didn't even realize it was fish because I didn't smell anything. <laughs> so all fish you know well actually fresh fish may not have the odor right away. Fresh if fish if, it, if it's fresh as it should be it should not smell overly okay. fishy. Okay. Absolutely, but you can also do a frozen fish. That works just as well. That's a great convenience item if you're mm -hmm. somebody who can't get to the grocery store very often. Okay. Doing a frozen, frozen variety will be just okay. as 
right. as healthy. We'd like for our viewers to know that if you have a show idea for Marsha, you can go to our three sources of social media, our Twitter account, uh, justastalkshow.org, the website, or Facebook, Just Ask Talk Show. Now, you, you, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, in some way, somehow, you can talk to me. It's okay. And I know a lot of you saying, I can cook, I can cook. Well, remember now, if it's not low in cholesterol, low in calories, and in 30 minutes or less, we can't do it. All right? So keep in mind, if you have a cooking show idea, you may contact me by Facebook, Twitter, or email, or better yet, you can still call the 1-800-323-5336, 1-800-323-5336, and drop me a line and say, hey, Marcia, I want to give that a try, all right? And remember, I'm the queen of sample. Okay, so, <laughs> now usually, because you know, when I sample something, it's for the viewers to know if we think we would like it or not, and we want to try it at home, so okay. Today's. Well, don't worry. I've been sampling this, and it's delicious right. enough to have at home. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Sounds good to me. So what we're going to do while we wait is we have a couple of different things here. This is a green onion. Mm -hmm. Green onion, also known as a scallion, okay. is going to give a little extra flavor. We're going to put that in at the end. But I'm going to go ahead and chop it up now so we have it ready to go. Okay, green onion. So with green onion, you'll see that there is this white part at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That part you just want to go ahead and chop off. Once it starts to turn green, that's where you want to just start slicing. And once again, if this is something that is difficult for you to slice up this small, mm -hmm. you could either omit the green onions altogether, or a great alternative is to use garlic in this recipe. Garlic. Okay. And garlic you can do either... Fresh garlic? Fresh or? garlic, or you can do a jarred variety okay. if you don't want to be cutting it up that small. Okay. Garlic is not the easiest thing to okay. cut up. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, if, if we're working with a person, our viewers may have, may have uh, arthritis or uh, physically challenged, and they have a taste for a meal, and they do want to try it, they want the simplest method as all possible. And exactly. so we want to give them the options to know if vegetables come already uh, pre-cut or if they can use other things to substitute for that vegetable that they can't, you know, actually get a handle on. Exactly. Okay. Yep. All right. If you do the jarred variety of garlic, you want to make sure that it's jarred in water, not oil. Okay. Jarred in water. Oh, so okay. you'll see here our sauce is mm -hmm. simmering. This is the time when we're going to add the fish. Okay. All right. So just grab our tongs, and what you're going to do is just place the fish right in the sauce. Once again, you want to make sure that you do it gently. That's why I highly recommend doing tongs. Just because this sauce is hot, don't want to burn yourself. So the fish is actually going to cook itself within the sauce? It is, okay. yep. So you're going to get all those good flavors mixed in. Wow. Okay. And you can either shimmy your pan around so that you can get the fish covered with the sauce. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little easier just to use your tongs, mix it around. Okay. Just so that everything is all covered. Now, is this one of your favorite meals? I really do enjoy this. And okay. a lot of the questions I get when learning how to cook fish is, it takes forever because we always have to do it in the oven. And all right. you don't have to always do fish on the oven. It works great just on the stove like this. Okay. It's much faster on the stove than it is to heat up the oven, especially oh, yeah. during the summer, something like that. Okay. So we'll go back here and check on our rice. That is if we can get our pot holder out okay. from under there. <laughs> and you'll see oh, that you okay. can tell the rice is almost done when those little circles come up from the bottom. Okay. That's the water evaporating and escaping. And But you can tell there's still some water at the bottom. So All we're right. going to let that go a little bit more. This might be the time when we fluff it just to kind of double check. And there's still quite a bit of water in there. Okay. So we'll let it, let it go a little bit more. With rice, you really don't want to stir rice mm -hmm. in the same way you would pasta. Right. You're going to break it down a little bit more, and then it, you get a more of a mushy product. Okay. All right. So then, the other ingredients that we're going to be working with today to finish off our sauce, mm -hmm. we have some chopped parsley here. Okay. A good substitute in this is also cilantro. You could do that instead. If you don't have fresh herbs available, you can use dried. Okay. It's about a 1-3 ratio, so you're going to use about a third less dry than you would of your fresh variety. All right. Okay. We also have some lime juice here we're going to add. A great um, option for those of us doing low sodium. Mm -hmm. It still has some of that great flavor, but without any of the salt. 
and then we're going to be steaming our spinach in just a few minutes. Okay. I was looking at that spinach like, hmm, mm -hmm. where's we that coming that? in? Right, right. Okay. <laughs> so in the event now, this is just one meal out of a dozen, I'm sure that we could see, but how many calories would you say in the completion of this meal? This one has about, oh, 250, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that is really important about this meal is that it doesn't have as many carbohydrates as you may think. Um, it actually only has two servings of carbohydrate, and that comes from the rice. Okay. And something like the coconut milk that we're using mm -hmm. doesn't have the same amount of carbohydrate in it that a dairy product would, so regular milk. So anybody who's a diabetic counting their carbs, it doesn't count in the same fashion. So that's a nice substitute um, to do. Right. Right. But this meal in general is going to be a lower calorie option. And more importantly than the calories, because I'm not the biggest fan of calorie counting, um, is the actual quality of the ingredients that we're using. Okay. We're doing fresh fish, fresh vegetables, whole grains. That's really what, what So you said you is. can actually use any kind of fish, practically? You could, absolutely. Um, a salmon would work fine, it's haddock, my okay. yep, something like that. If you're doing salmon, I do recommend taking the skin off the bottom, mm -hmm. just because you're cooking it in the sauce. You don't need all that okay. skin in there. Okay. Um, but and a, and a less expensive option would be cod. Mm -hmm. Halibut is a little bit more expensive, so cod works great in this recipe as well. Okay. That's what I like to do at okay. home. <laughs> now, now, Stephanie, you're aware that we're a 30-minute cooking show, so you're saying that the rice, the fish itself, the yep. saute, and the spinach all can be done in 30 minutes. Or Absolutely. Less. Okay, so ladies, then we're going to time her and see because <laughs> it, look, it looks good. Okay. All right. Really so our good. fish here is cooking. We'll know it's done when it flakes easily with a fork. Okay. Now, do you turn it over at any time? You do not turn it over, not in this recipe. Okay. Um, and you can also tell it's getting more cooked because it's turning white. So it's becoming more opaque as opposed to before when it was translucent. All right. So once it turns white about that, it's about, oh, seven minutes until this is thoroughly cooked. Mm -hmm. This is where we're going to take in our spinach. The spinach we have here in our microwavable casserole dish, this is six cups of spinach. Looks like a lot. Mm -hmm. This recipe serves four. Um, we're going to cook it just for two minutes in the microwave. Very simple, very fast. Mm -hmm. A great way for people to get those greens without having to fire up the stove. Okay. So we'll throw that in the microwave for yeah. two minutes. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, while you're doing the micro microwave, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we only got like, what, 15 minutes left in this show? So I bet you when you come back, we'll be almost at the plating stage. We'll be right back. Do you know that stroke targets by color? Odds are, if you're African-American, you're twice as likely to suffer a stroke as white Americans. Know where you stand. Because beating the odds isn't about winning. It's about living. Join the power to end stroke at strokeassociation.org. And welcome back to the last half of the show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Stephanie put the spinach inside the microwave. And so, like I said, when we return, we're getting closer to the plating part because Marsh is a little hungry. But uh, <laughs> still in all, what Stephanie was telling us that this meal in particular is under 30 minutes. And basically, should people prep at nighttime, though, so that they'll have this opportunity to come in the next day? I'm working. I'm tired. Don't want to do a whole lot of cooking. So do I need to prepare something at night? You could if you wanted to. Um, if you're using a frozen fish, you mm -hmm. could absolutely take that out of its packaging and defrost that in the refrigerator. You don't okay. want to do any countertop defrosting. You could do that overnight. Okay. Um, the other thing is to make a bigger portion of this, and that way you can have some leftovers for yourself. Sounds a build. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to check out our rice here. Mm -hmm. Our spinach is done, but it's not going anywhere in the microwave there. Okay. So... We can see that the water is just about evaporated. This is about the time when I would turn it off okay. and just let it continue. It'll cook a little bit more when it's in there still. So we'll just turn off our oven there. And going back to our fish, our sauce is oh, bubbling, wow. which is what we want it to happen. Can we get a shot of that? I hope you guys can get a shot of that fish. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. All right. We can move it around a little bit, just making sure it's not sticking to the bottom or okay. anything like that. We do want to make sure that the tops are covered. And nice. when it's done, we know it will flake away. So there you can see it's easily flaking away. We'll let it cook just a little bit longer so we can have all those good flavors absorbed. Okay, this looks good, <laughs> all right. And we do have our spinach out of the microwave. 
So right, primarily it does sound like you're doing a lot of stuff that has something to do with vegetables and, and just the meat because I, I don't see any bread, okay, no crackers, anything like that. So all this mainly would be, how would you, how would you? So we do have the carbohydrate from carbs, the rice. Okay, so carbs. if you're looking for your balanced plate, mm -hmm. you're going to have your protein, protein from the fish, okay. your carbohydrate from the rice here, okay. and then you're going to have your vegetable serving from the spinach. Okay. The coconut milk, the olive oil that we use to saute our shallots in, mm. that's going to give you some of the healthy fats that you're looking for as well. And also with fish, one of the great benefits of fish are the omega-3 fatty acids okay. it contains. Great for our brains, great for our hearts. That's something that we don't find in a lot of foods, so that's why we, we like to incorporate fish when okay. we can. Now you have an option, you can do the spinach by a microwave or you can yep. put it in a pan for a you could pan absolutely. sear it or something? Yep, you can okay. put it on the stove. Mm -hmm. I would suggest just a little bit of water in the pa bottom of the pan just to cover it. Okay. You don't want to do a whole bunch of water, you don't want to boil the spinach right. because there are water soluble vitamins okay. in the spinach that are very valuable to the nutrition of it. Okay. When you cook it in water, those vitamins leach out, mm -hmm. and unless you're drinking the leftover boiled water, you're not going to get those ingredients. So no seasoning on the spinach? I did not put any on the spinach, and, and for this dish you really do not need it. Okay. The spinach is going to go on the bottom of our bowl, and we're going to top it with our sauce and our rice. All right, because I mean, me and Popeye was concerned here. Now, just, <laughs> yeah, just, just wondering. Now, remember, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not the only one that can sample food. You can always come and stand in my space. All you got to do is give me a call, 1-800-323-5336, 1-800-323-5336. Call me and say, Marcia, uh, you know, the day that you don't feel like sampling, can I? So you'd be surprised. We do have our viewers come in and actually sample the food. The only thing we require is to find out about your health background so that we can make sure it is something that you can eat. <laughs> All right. You will find Stephanie's recipe on our website, so don't panic. It will be there if you want to follow it bit by bit. Or you can go to our Facebook and see the entire show on Facebook. So you have other options if you don't have cable TV. It's okay. You will be able to find us. All right. All right, Stephanie. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm getting a little hungry here, but no, I'm just yep. kidding. Okay. Our sauce is just about set here. Mm -hmm. We can see we did test the fish earlier but it does pull apart very easily. So okay. that's what we're going for here. Okay. You can use a fork if it's a little bit easier for you to see it visually, mm -hmm. um, but tongs are a good option too. And we're gonna add just our last couple ingredients. Before we do that, we're just gonna turn it off and we're gonna put in our parsley. Now this is a curly parsley. You could do a flat leaf Italian parsley. Okay. Like I said earlier, cilantro works nicely as well. These are our chopped green onions that we mm -hmm. had. Just going to add those all right in. Okay. And then lastly, our lime juice. This is about lime two juice. tablespoons of lime juice. I'm surprised when you said lime juice. I think I was looking for lemon juice, but you said lime. And lemon juice okay. is a great option for fish dishes. Mm -hmm. Just doing some fresh lemon slices and a little bit of pepper. That's a great option for fish. I think we're used to lemon instead of somebody saying yes. lime. Yes. So well, when we're doing lime, um, this is more of a Thai-inspired dish. Mm -hmm. So with the curry, with the coconut, it works out really okay. nicely. Okay. All right. So Sounds we're just going to mix that all up in there. And we are ready to serve. Are you ready to sample? I believe I am, <laughs> without a doubt. But <laughs> people, people don't think that I'm starving. It's just that it smells so good. Okay, okay. So now, is this a plated dish? Yes, it is. And you okay. can either use a bowl, like the one that we have here. Okay. You can use a plate if you want. You're going to miss some of the sauce if you do a plate. The best option is if you have one of those short long okay. soup bowl plates. Okay. All right. Don't exactly know what they're called, All but right. that would be probably the best option. Okay. So you would ideally consider this a family meal? Absolutely. All, mm -hmm. right. All right. This is something that would be fine for kids. Okay. So this it's not spicy or anything. Some right. people think that curry is spicy, but it's not spicy. Yeah, that was my first impression, but I yeah. guess not. No, nope. don't worry, okay. I won't All right. hurt I'm your taste buds. I'm going to get my magic fork, spoon, and knife out just in case. I don't know which way I'm going. So <laughs> We're just going to put our spinach here in the bottom of the bowl. Okay. And then we're going to get some fish here. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's starting to fall apart. Yep, you can tell that. So that's, that is what we're going for. All right. So is it more like, I mean, I'm not trying to say it's an Oriental dish, but you have it in a bowl. I do. So it's more... It 
it's, you could almost call it a soup. I mean, okay. it's really not a soup, but right. definitely having that sauce is very nice. Especially um, anybody, I deal a lot with um, cancer patients. So sometimes they have um, experiencing from mm -hmm. radiation or chemotherapy, you can have dry mouth and it's really very uncomfortable to eat. And okay. so having something that is more moist in a sauce can really help well, that's be good. able to make it more palatable. Okay, that's good. We have our that's brown good. rice here. We're gonna do just about a half cup serving. And I noticed the brown rice did come out flaky, just just, just in time. Yep, okay, okay. just in time. So and you'll see all the water yeah. is gone off the bottom. Yeah, I was just a little <laughs> questionable about the rice, okay. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is top it with some of our sauce. So you can right. get the shallots in there, get all the good flavors from the curry wow. powder as that well as good. the coconut milk. Alrighty, that looks good, as well <laughs> as it smells good. Alrighty. And okay. for you. Oh. <laughs> I know okay. I should All right. have. All right. <laughs> okay, now ladies and gentlemen, before Marsha dives into it, did you see that? Did you see that? I mean, because the curry juice is sitting on the side, so you know I'm going to take a spoon for that. But you see the fish, uh, the rice, the spinach is at the bottom, so I'm hoping we get a good shot of this. Okay, and we have the shallot. So you can get to tell the, the viewers again what's in here because I'm going to be um, getting ready to dive in. So you want to tell them again what's in here? Absolutely. We have steamed spinach. We have a wild-caught halibut. You do want to make sure it's wild-caught. Those wild are going to be the most nutritional benefit for you. Okay. We have a coconut curry sauce with some parsley and green onions. And then we have a brown rice. Okay. I'm gonna start it might be a, warm. Yeah, I'm going to start <laughs> with a small smidgen. This is this is the, the the moment of truth, as they say. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I right, try it again. Okay. Rice is good. Okay. Good. Now I'm thinking brown rice is going to look brown. And if you put this next to white rice, it would look more brown. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. If you're not a big fan of the brown rice, something like half white, half brown, that will at least give you a good amount of fiber, kind of give you a transitional period between switching from white okay. to brown I'm rice. I'm trying to get to the spinach. I don't want people to think I don't eat spinach. <laughs> I like spinach. Okay. Okay. And I'm using a spoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm only using a spoon. Yep. Okay. So you can get that sauce. I know we're getting ready to wrap up, but let me, you, you know the rules. If Marsha eats it twice, it's all right. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. I'm glad you like yeah. it. <laughs> That's real good. Thank you. Mm. Well, Stephanie, I definitely want to thank you. We enjoyed ourselves thank here today. You. And please tell the staff at Soul Life Fitness that we said hello. I will. Okay. Thank you. And we will be back. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you. I enjoyed myself today. But you can always contact us. Uh, go to the bottom of our screen and check out our social media page, which may be Facebook. Could be our phone number. Twitter account and website. So all those things are down here for your convenience. We want to thank um, Beaumont for having us here with the Soul Life Fitness Group. And we'll be back again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. I'm your host, Marsha Florence with Just Ask. And what do I always say? If you know someone with a disability or if you just have a general question, don't be afraid to ask, just ask. Thank you.